if you're an intelligent person, as you look out and see Diddy getting arrested, you see Eric Adams getting arrested, you see when Diddy got arrested, none of the other celebrities are saying much. If you hear some of the rumors or if you've actually read some of what Kim Porter has stated in her book, you will begin to realize that the glamour that Hollywood once had is no more. If you're an intelligent person. Now, if you're a lemming, if you're a sheep, you're still gonna fall under the, the lure that these celebrities are just the most angel, these the most heroic people on planet earth. Plus, they're gonna fool your kids because it's what the, the, the propaganda is with the news and everything. They prop these people up, but you know, they only show you what they wanna show you. They don't show you the behind the scenes where they yell, yelling at people and being an asshole or, you know, they're beating up people or they're cheating on their wife. That, that ring on that finger is just for show to, you know, appeal that they're just like you, the average person, but in reality, they're nothing but average. Actually, her and him have different partners and they swing and do all kinds of stuff. But the lemmings won't see it. But the intelligent folks, we've been seeing. We've seen this before, Diddy. We've seen this before these politicians started getting locked up on stuff that are actually corrupt. Not every politician is corrupt, but some of this stuff is the roosters are coming home to roost. All of the corruption, all the stuff about the entertainment industry, it, it's, it's, coming, it's, it's coming out to be true. And it's right in front of your face. And that's the crazy thing. The best place to hide something is literally right in front of your face. And they've been doing it, playing in your face this whole time. There are some celebrities right now that are probably worse than Diddy. That are probably never get caught. Or Diddy is just one of a whole clan of them. I mean, look at Jeffrey Epstein. People know about Epstein Island, but still the, the shit just keeps going on. So it just, it's a lot of foolishness too with it. A lot of stuff is being exposed by these celebrities, but still, some of this stuff still goes on. So then we have to ask ourselves this question, is there really gonna be any progress from it? I mean, we know Diddy in the, in the only one in the freak offs and orgies and stuff. I mean, kings and queens have been doing this for ages. I mean, why why would he get arrested? It really doesn't stem from him freaking off these, these random people. It stems from maybe he got that liquor company deal. And they, now the liquor company execs are mad that he's owning a percentage of Ciroc and now he's, now they're putting money behind these institutions to give this information out. But in reality, they're all in on it. Doing the same shit. Human nature is something else. Human nature, very deceptive, very driven by envy, greed, jealousy. You guys been paying attention to the Young Dolph case with straight drop and all this other stuff and all of it just stems from hatred. People getting deleted in the music industry. It all stems from hatred, envy, greed, because you didn't pay attention or you didn't want to sign to hear or you didn't or you put a disc record out because you did some phony stuff in, in private but you want to bring it in public all this stuff happens because of jealous en jealousy, envy and greed
And here's the crazy thing. It's been going on since before you were born. Which means what? This is how the world has always been, buddy. Back then, it used to be the the military guys. But the military guys makes more sense because they're celebrities. Because they're risking life and limb. I mean, they're paying the they're doing the ultimate risky thing. If they don't execute correctly on their war strategy, they're out of here. They're annihilated. Never to be seen again. These celebrities, I mean, they're just... Some of them are just good looking. Some of them are just great singers. Which is always funny to me because, you know, you always... Everybody has knows that one person that wants to be a model. Wants to be... Even I had did that. But once I got into modeling, I was like, this is not what I thought it was. Um... People want to get into modeling. People want to get in the music industry. People want to get into entertainment. And I'm like, bro, are you are you sure you want to get into entertainment? And when I say entertainment, I'm talking about mass Hollywood entertainment, being an actor, actress, musician, all this kind of stuff where you get global fame. I'm like, bro, do you really want to do that? I mean, do you, do you not see what Harvey Weinstein and the casting couch and uh, Epstein and Diddy with Justin Bieber and, and, and Usher like and then some of some of it guys I can't some of it is not smart deception from the celebrities and these record companies some of it is human ignorance it's why would you put your kid into and trust them in, with the fortitude, trust them with um, that these people are going to have your kids' best interests. Why are these people so willing to give their children away to become these superstars without knowing there's some kind of tax somewhere? And when I say tax, I'm not talking about you know, the tax on the money that you spend at a grocery store. I'm talking about, you know, you don't get taxed. That's not the only tax. You might. It's like this. If a woman, if you're a woman and you're married, right? And you're intelligent. If you, you can be a single woman too. You don't accept gifts from men. Because granted, some men can be nice guys and just be that, you know, nice but then there's a portion of guys that are like, hey, you know, I scratched your back. You got to scratch mine. I gave you that gift. What you going to give to me? And that price might be sexual. And that's the same thing with the music industry. They're going to want a tax or a payment. Somewhere. And we're figuring out that most times it's sexually. It's so crazy that it's men on men, not just men on women. Sometimes it's women on women. These are the games that they're playing. And if you're a smart person, you've been catching on to it before, but now it just, it just accelerates the process. Like people that, um, fantasize and put on a pedestal these different athletes and celebrities I'm like bro they were all in on it and knew about it and are doing the same shit so in the intelligent person's eyes we are seeing the facade of the, of the celebrities is beginning to fall they're not their secrets are no longer hidden See, the reason why they were so mysterious and sought after in the 80s, 90s, 70s, 60s is because they didn't have social media. But now we have social media. Now we can get the information and source it and get to it extremely fast. The mystique has gone away because now you follow your favorite celebrity and they post a picture and you like it. You know where they're at. You know what they're doing. So 
the facade. This is the age where the celebrities aren't celebrities anymore. But we'll see who the next celebrities actually are. Maybe we're moving into an age of truth. Maybe we're just replacing another stupid celebrity for another one. Who knows? But we do know the mask is falling off. That's my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe on, the, on your way out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the video if you like the, if you like the video on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.